Welcome devs. Today we're going to go over the eight best practices to generate code using AI tools. I'm going to use three different examples and I'm going to use three different AI plugins, Codiumate, Copilot, and AI Assistance. Let's begin. Number one, we're going to break the request into smaller units of work. AI coding assistants perform best when handling focused, specific tasks. Number two, provide context in each ask. Context helps AI assistants understand the scope and purpose of the task. Number three, be clear and specific. AI models perform better with clear and specific instructions. Number four, keep requests distinct and focused. Focused asks reduce confusion and ensure the assistant does not mix up tasks. Let's see these four in action. Okay, so I'm going to use Copilot for this example. And this is a small unit of work. We're going to verify credentials. We're being distinct on saying return success or a failure. And we're being very focused on saying use bcrypt. So we're not just letting the AI think of how will it do this verifying credentials. We're giving it hints or telling it this information. I'm also going to give it a context of the user store to make sure that it knows that it needs to be used in this answer. And now it comes back with our answer and or our example code and we see that and we like it. So it's up to you, you're still in the driver's seat. I say that that looks pretty good and so I'm gonna import that in. Now, how do I know if this is exactly right? Who's your first consumer of this code? We don't wanna check this in and then say, well, let's try to use this, this in another piece. That's where our unit tests come in. So this is the whole key to this, is that your, your writing of code and your flow is now just being enhanced by AI. We were able to get some of the example, we were looking at it, we might need to update it or not, and then you get your test. So now this looks like a pretty good test to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and just for our example, I'm gonna go and copy this and I'm gonna paste it in there. Now you can see it gave me the whole class and I could have saved that in there, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to run this and have it in that file. And you can see that we have our Makito going and we have our behaviors tested. Number five and six, iterate and refine and leverage previous conversations and generate code. If these two work together where AI generated code might need refinement. Iterating helps improve accuracy by building on previous interactions if you maintain a coherent flow. Let's take a look. So I'm going to use AI Assistant to demonstrate the iterate and refine and use the already existing generated code. So here is our generated code that we did. And we're going to right click on that and say find problems. Now AI Assistant is going to go ahead and spit out a whole bunch of different descriptions for us and some changes that it's suggesting. So it's saying, look, you can check for username and passwords and all and that stored information there. And then also it's come up with some more information. So here is the final revised method. So you'll see it's iterating over and saying, oh, here's some stuff recommended. Here's a little bit more. And now here's the final part for the verified credentials. So I have that verified credentials highlighted and I can simply go ahead and put that in there. And we've iterated over this. So right now, that was the problem that it found. We can go ahead now and test this. And we know that currently it's going to pass because we're not checking for any nulls. So in the iterating over this, we've seen that, well, we probably should check for a username and password being null and not even go ahead and do that call up or check for it. So let's go ahead now with this, we can actually create some more tests. So I'm going to go use the AI assist assistant this time and generate unit tests. So this open up my unit test and it will start doing this diff and generate some tests for us. So as this is generating, we'll go ahead and we're just waiting here. It takes a little bit. Now you're going to have to read this and understand it. So you need to get 
There isn't any kind of like explanation what behaviors you're testing. So once this is done, I can say accept all, and then I will need to go through this and kind of understand it. And sometimes it's a little bit off, but all you have to do is kind of clean it up. You're still the driver in the driver's seat here to make sure your code's working. So let's go ahead and test this out. And we see that we've met all the requirements. Let's see if we have a null in there. So there's a password null so that we should be getting a, um, a verified of a false. And then the username is false too. So it's come up and um, put in some uh, good mocking and even an invalid password or wrong password check. So that is the iterating and refining and making it just that much better of a code base now checking for the username and password. Number seven, use advanced predefined commands for specific asks. Many AI coding assistants offer advanced commands or settings that trigger more precise and tailored responses. And number eight, ask the explanation when needed. Understanding the generated code enhances your ability to modify or expand it. Let's dive deeper into these points with an example. So I'm going to go ahead and check this whole method and I'm going to do a prepared command to say improve. And what this will do is this is a predefined command and one of our best practices to do this and Cody Mate's going to go out and come up with some uh, different suggestions. So we can extract credentials, we can use this constant time and this is the timing attacks that can happen. So that's pretty good for the security. Let's go ahead and look at it. And it's using the message digest to do this. So let's go ahead and select that one and prepare the code to for the change. And we can show the diff. And we can see that we're changing this piece right here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Um, I have to import it, so I import the class. And now we have that improved. Now, um, this will tell you a little bit more about that and we can do some more uh, commands here too. So I can, you know, select, let's just select all of this. And this is the last best practice, which is the explain. So I might want, or I'm new here to looking at this authorization service and I want to have a better understanding of what this authorization service is doing. And so this is going to explain the code for me and explain everything that we've been doing here. So it says it hashes the provided password and compares it to store to hash using the is equal, um, returns true or false on this, um, that checks the username if it exists in the store, all of these different flows that it's doing and its outputs. And um, you can see the references that it's doing. So it actually uh, referenced the user store and the authorization service and is just giving us some examples of how to use this too, if you wanted to use it. So that's the power of these predefined commands and also to actually explain your code base to get a better understanding before you go about doing your incremental changes or your requests. To wrap up, we've explored some key best practices for using AI tools to generate code. The main takeaway from this demo is that code generation has become a standard capability, but the real focus should be on producing high quality, maintainable code with strong integrity. This isn't just about generating code. It's about using AI throughout the entire development lifecycle to assist you while ensuring you stay in the driver's seat.